Hello viewers, today I discuss interesting result in functional analysis. That result is norm of x at infinity is equal to limit as p tending to infinity norm of x of p. Then how to prove this result? And alternatively, this statement can also be written as that is maximum of this another notation you may write in this manner also mod of xi and this i runs from 1 to up to n that is a finite quantity and if we are taking an infinite sense that is a limit as p tending to infinity summation i equals to 1 to up to n um, x i p that is to the power 1 by p this is alternative notation we have to prove this result now let us watch the viewer who are watching this video first time they must subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get all the notification and latest update of the videos let us watch till the end now to prove this result we are taking the only roots for two value taking two value for one two in these sequences x1 x2 in this order pair we have to take in, in these cases so part of the proof now for n is equal to 2 that's a real scalar we find because modulus value that's why there's a mod so it's real scalar And let if we are taking x as x1 and x2 be ordered pair in this notation we use b and ordered pair of real numbers. And this number with this non-negative real number x1 and x2 greater than equals to 0 that's why it's just non-negative structure and it is evident that this non-negative structure that is a norm of x infinity and this result we are taking only two values so maximum of x1 and x2 and in this cases that will be less than equals to we are using this inequality x1 p x2 p equal to the power 1 by p and that will be given as norm of x p and if x1 is equal to x2 then limit as p tending to infinity norm of xp that will be limit as p tending to infinity this result because if we are putting this result so x1 and x2 have the same value so 2x2 to the power if these two are same so 2x2 to the power p and whole to the power 1 by p in this type of structure we find and this result goes to limit as p tending to infinity its result is 2 to the power 1 by p x2 and finally this result will goes to as x infinity as this infinity is clear and finally we find as x infinity now let's watch another condition if x1 is less than x2 then we have limit as p tending to infinity here we maintain this condition p tends to infinity norm of xp 
and uh, that will be limit as p tending to infinity this norm of x p certainly we are putting the same condition x1 p and x2 to the power p whole to the power 1 by p and taking this condition limit as p tending to infinity and we are using that is x1 by x2 whole to the power p plus 1 and taking is another bracket and into x2 to the power p whole to the power 1 by p in this result and structurally we are writing in this manner limit p tending to infinity and if we are taking uh, two bracket uh, that's one thing is x1 by x2 whole to the power p plus 1 whole to the power 1 by p and another is x2 p and p will cancel so x2 is there and this result x1 less than x2 p tends to infinity and so finally for any value of this result that's a small quantity negligible so result will turn into x2 and it's clear that the result is x infinity so in both the cases we are finding this result so finally this result is truth for this both cases and if we consider either another cases that is x2 less than x1 so it will turn into x1 no matter for that it also gives the same results is x1 x2 are arbitrary now we end uh, or, or uh, another cases that is uh, structurally we consider just an order pair whatever may be same or different we end our discussions today if you like this video like it share it and always subscribe the channel thank you